is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today i'm going to be showing you how to make your very own lars sullivan custom figure you guys yes this is a custom lars sullivan that i just threw together yesterday pretty solid uh, effort there we also have a custom roman reigns for smackdown live as you guys can see right here we got the blue vest going on but we're going to break down both customs but we also have a little package here from my boy wolf steiner if you guys know who wolf steiner is you can look it up on YouTube. He has this. It says Fortray, aka the Toy Slayer, MDT Nation, 100 logo. His IG information is right here. Underscore Wolfsteiner, underscore my boy Dylan, absolute beast. Definitely go give him a follow on Instagram and check out his YouTube channel. But let's get into this Lars Sullivan first because I'm sure you guys will be wondering what formula we use. Um, I'm kind of upset. I need to come in here and fix the top here because uh, the, I, I hate that you can actually see that white paint. It's because it's actually on the crotch piece and that's very annoying like I hate the way that looks right there but the rest of it we're gonna break through, down the formula it is an Undertaker head sculpt this is the I think it's the Wrestlemania 29 head sculpt I can't remember exactly which head it is but I think it was one of those Toys R Us exclusives or um, one of those elite Undertakers that has the Mohawk look I think it's Wrestlemania 29 but anyways what I did was I removed the eyebrows I removed some of the beard a little bit and then I came in with some paint and just painted on the beard all the way up um, it probably could be a little bit darker but it's not that big of a deal to me the skin tones also aren't a complete match I'm not sure but I think they do match up good enough another thing I did was sanded down the mohawk and made that baby smooth so you know he's got the uh, he's got the bald dome he's got the chrome dome bastard but he's looking pretty solid I like the way that the head sculpt came out it's not perfect by any means but it works for now until we get you know a basic or something to replace this head sculpt um, the body is a warlord Lord, an Elite 50 Warlord, I do believe. It's got, you know, the, the face mask and the shoulder pads and the little Warlord stick and everything like that. What I did was took that figure, painted its trunks red, removed the knee pads, removed the boots, replaced the boots with the regular black lace boots from Aiden English. It does have buckles on there, which isn't accurate, but I can always remove it if it, if it bothers me that freaking much. Then I came in, the same arms, I added his tattoo to his arm. This is like pretty much what his tattoo looks like. It's like a like a scenery from like a like a barnyard or something is what it looked like. I, it's all I can make out of the tattoo. I also added the chest hair, the stomach hair, the arm hair. I added, uh, I, I think that's it. So that is our complete Lars Sullivan figure, guys. If you would like me to go more in depth and you would want a video on, you know, how to do it, maybe I... I feel like I could make this figure again or something, but it's a relatively simple custom. You know, I'm not a big fan of Lars Sullivan, but I figured, you know, for predictions videos and everything, since he's a big part of the main roster now on SmackDown Live, why not go ahead and make a Lars Sullivan figure since, you know, I'm sure that we'll be getting him, you know, sooner or later, but that is my Lars Sullivan custom that I just threw together yesterday. It literally took me five minutes to do, so I figured, why not go ahead and make this, and I'm sure you guys will be interested to know how I made it and all that good stuff, so there is our custom elite Lars Sullivan. He puts me to sleep, guys. I'm not a big fan of Lars Sullivan at all. He's just another big guy that's throwing stuff around. He's like the evil Braun Strowman, so that is it for Lars Sullivan. We also have this SmackDown Live Roman Reigns. So what I did for this, guys, was I posted on Instagram yesterday. It got pretty good feedback on it. What I did was took an Elite 65 Roman. You guys know the most recent released Elite Roman Reigns, I do believe. Elite Series 65. It's got the red vest, the red logos and everything. What I did was uh, just took that figure, painted over all of the red and blue. I have a really nice blue color, and then I added blue to the sides, and then I took an elite, extra Elite 51 Roman Reigns arms, because they have the gray here, and there's gray around the outline of the Roman vest. On uh, all over the vest, there's like outlined in gray, so I figured instead of painting the gauntlets, I would use the gray outlines from the Elite 51 Roman Reigns arms, and it, it ties in perfectly. You know, since he's on the blue brand, the big dog's on the blue brand, why not make a blue brand SmackDown Live Roman Reigns fantasy attire? And this is what I got. I'm pretty happy with it. It looks super clean. I'm really enjoying the way Roman looks on SmackDown Live. I'm actually excited to see where he goes from here. Hopefully they don't push him to the moon, you know, on SmackDown Live and stuff, and they kind of let it happen organically or, you know, over the course of time. But the big dog's on SmackDown, so I had to make the figure to commemorate the moment. And he will go back here with Lars Sullivan. 
with it. I'm sure they'll cross paths sooner or later. I wouldn't be surprised if that's our first feud right there. Um, but Lars Sullivan obviously would lose, but I don't know. We'll have to see. We also have my WrestleMania 35 Finn Balor. If you guys didn't see this video, you might as well go check it out on the channel. We detail this. I don't even know why it's here. It just It's so beautiful. I worked hard on it, so I, I wanted to include it here in the video today. Got the back design on there. Really enjoying this. My boy Finn Balor is also on SmackDown Live. So all three of these guys making their way to SmackDown Live. And I can't wait to see where they all three go. Not Lars. He he can go jump off a bridge. I, I really don't. I can't I can't stand the man's character. But anyways, we're going to get into my package from Wolf Center right here. And all it is is two different figures. Guys, we'll show it off. They're kind of actually related in a way. And you guys will see here we have an Authority Triple H. I've been wanting this figure forever. It's going to go on a fix-up that we will use for MDT Live live believe it or not and it's also a uh, great figure i thought about using it to put my triple h head scan with the beard you know the updated triple h in suit that's probably something i'll also do just because it'll look beautiful but there is triple h and authority triple h and to go with our authority triple h we had to have seth freaking rollins and it is the cash in toys r us exclusive but it's a fix up he put the elite 52 head scan on there and i'll probably do a custom out of this i thought about making his mania 35 attire out of it because it's all right the base is pretty much close um, to the attire he wore I just have to add some gold lines <sighs> yeah I woke up later this morning guys I apologize but I'm used to getting up you know early AF to do the videos and stuff like that but I did I did sleep in a little bit today not meaning to my alarm went off but you know that that moment when you check your alarm and you check it and it's like, yep, time to get up. And then you blink and it's four hours later. Yeah, that's what happened. So I apologize for this video being up later, but uh, it, it's not that big of a deal. You guys you guys are going to watch, right? You guys are going to watch. You guys love me. Please watch. I love you. But anyways, here are two figures. We have the Authority Triple H with the Seth Rollins. And again, these do go together because obviously Triple H came out, made Seth Rollins his hand-picked man. And I can't wait to make fix-ups of these guys and get the usage out of them. I'm probably going to have to put some Mod Podge on this Seth's legs because uh, they're on ball joints like all Seth Rollins, but they're they're pretty loosey goosey because uh, that's just what they do. Seth Rollins figures can get very loose, especially if you're posing them around and stuff like that. Especially older ones, I feel like they've gotten better over the years. But the older Seth Rollins figures definitely get loosey goosey and they want to fall over and stuff. So there's our Seth Rollins. There's our Triple H. There is our Lars Sullivan custom figure, which uh, I am curious to know what you guys think of it. Um, I stuffed some paper down in his head sculpt so that it wouldn't sit as low, and it looks better than it did, but guys, when I first put it on there, his head was sitting super duper low, and I was like, God, that, that's just ugly. We gotta, we gotta fix this. So that is what I did. Um, again, not a perfect head sculpt, but I think it works for now, at least for the time being, and there is your completed Lars Sullivan. I could also add the red at the bottom, or the socks, whatever there, at the bottom of his calves, but I'm, I'm not gonna add that. I really just don't care that much because I'm not a big Lars Sullivan fan. So shows you how much I like Trash Corbin, though, because uh, I never made a Trash Corbin custom, no matter you know how many times he was on TV and all that stuff. But uh, I guess that was a little bit different. Um, I think I like Lars Sullivan better than Trash Corbin. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you think of the hauls, what you think of the custom Roman Reigns from SmackDown Live. What do you think of the Lars Sullivan custom? But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyAmToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.